Hey guys, Joey here with Joe's RV Tech DIY. Um, so today um, I'm going to show you how to drain a suburban water heater. Uh, sometimes I get that question on the phone and we also get it in the comments. How can I drain my water heater? Um, the Atwood water heater is different than the suburban water heater. Um, the suburban waters here have an anode rod in them and Atwood water heaters have a little plastic plug. So you, I use a half inch ratchet and an inch and a sixteenth socket on this one. And you want to make sure you turn the water heater off uh, well in advance before you get ready to drain it because you could burn yourself and you don't want to do that. So even after it's off, you know, you want to touch it, make sure it's not warm, it's nice and cold. So there's the plug right in the bottom there. First thing I do after making sure it's off and there's no hot water in it, I'll relieve some of the pressure in it by opening the TPT valve right there. And then I'll reclose it, okay? You come down here, put your socket in there. This water heater is pretty dirty and it needs to be serviced. Maybe that can be our next video. <laughs> um, and these actual anode rod can be really tight. So um, you wanna be careful when you're removing them though and uh, not to break it. Every once in a great while that can happen. So um, make sure you stand off to the side when you remove it so you don't get splashed any water. Okay, water is starting to come out. Then what I do to get it to drain faster, so I'll open the CPT valve. It'll stay open here. And it just flushes all that water out. It's pretty simple. You just, again, make sure that all your electric is off on the water heater and that you don't have the 12 volt gas side on either. But you want to make sure that you don't get burned doing this because you can burn yourself really bad. But as you can see here, this anode rod has been doing its job. The anode rod on the suburban water heaters actually protects the tank. So um, these are made out of magnesium. And if this wasn't in there, the actual tank itself would be being attacked by all the chemicals and uh, minerals that are in the water. So if you have any questions on how to drain yours or maybe you know where to get an anode rod, I'll post that below in the description below if you guys need a new one so you can get a good price on one. And until next time, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Safe travels out there from your friend at Joe's RV Tech DIY. See you guys in the next video.